everybody, this is Dane with Slater Museum. And even though the museum is closed, I wanted to take this opportunity to show off some of our amazing and unique artifacts within the museum's collection. So come and join me and take a look at what makes this museum so special. I'm gonna be taking you all through our gallery called Crocker's Norwich. This is a gallery that features artwork by artists John Dennison Crocker, as well as Alexander Emmons. Both of these men in their heyday were two of the most renowned artists in this area, and rightfully so, because their works are absolutely stunning. Crocker himself wanted to be a portrait artist, and he did paint many portraits, but I personally, I think his landscapes are what stand out. We'll take a look at this one here. This is a view of Norwich done by Crocker. And if you have grown up in this area or if you're very familiar with Norwich, you can just about imagine exactly where Crocker is standing, gazing outward here. This is the Antic River. And just across the river is where you would find Washington Street that travels in this direction. In fact, this building right here, that's the Pinehurst Mansion for those of that, uh, that are familiar, which still stands to this day. We actually know quite a bit about what the landscape looked like because of John Dennison Crocker's paintings, although we have to be careful too because he did employ a lot of artistic license in some of his landscapes, so they may not appear exactly like it would have appeared in real life. Now he painted in what's called the Hudson River School style. And there are a number of common themes that connect this style, um, but the ones that truly stand out here are how Crocker captures the beauty and the majesty of the natural landscape as well as the scale of Earth's landscape. It's also common to juxtapose people as well as animals in paintings to create a rather idyllic, almost pastoral type setting here. Let me come over here to this next one. I love looking at this painting because, especially when I have school groups and local students here, I say to them, I guarantee you at least one of you has been to this location. And they say, that doesn't look familiar to me. And I say, well, some of these landmarks still exist because this road that you see right here, this is Route 12. If you were to follow Route 12 into the town of Lisbon, just beyond this tree line here is where you're going to find the modern day Lisbon Landing Shopping Center. And they go, oh, I know exactly where that is. That's where the movie theater is. And so we really do uh, know quite a bit about what this natural landscape would have looked like back then. So we certainly have John Dennison Crocker and Alexander Emmons to thank for capturing these beautiful moments in our history. Thank you.